Hello everyone. For today's video we are going to learn how to make a clock and you need this clock for tomorrow when there will be a quiz coming out on telling the time. So I thought we could put this out today so that you can have a chance to make it and then tomorrow you can have a go at the clock quiz, the time quiz. Okay, so it's quite simple. All you need is some cardboard. This is my contact lens box. This is my cardboard. And then you need something round so that you can draw around it for the clock face. I didn't have anything with me that was round and big enough other than the end of my hairdryer. So I drew around the end of my hairdryer to get a circle like this which I cut out carefully and if your cardboard has printing on like mine just turn it over and you'll have the clean face once you've got your clock face cut out it's time to get the numbers of the clock on it so you need to do a number one number two number three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and these are the numbers that you find on watches or on clocks so that's the first stage done at this point i will say you could do it on the floor outside with chalk if you'd like to i tried to do that but every time i went for it my dog attacked the chalk and tried to get it so it didn't work for me or you could paint your clock face because I know that Phoebe and Nevaeh said they wanted to do some painting so you could paint your clock face on a big piece of paper or paint the numbers you can decorate your clock face however you like make it yours so once you've got your clock face and the numbers on it you need to make some hands you need a longer hand which is the minute hand and you need a shorter hand for the hour so I got some more of my cardboard and I cut along it to make these I've got a blue one which is slightly longer for the minute hand and I've got a red one which is shorter for the hour because in school the clocks we had the minute hand was always blue and the hour hand was always red but again if you don't want those colours or you don't have those colours don't worry make it yours on this one I'm going to show you I've already put my pin which is quite sharp through my hands but on this one I used a paper clip which I just opened up and slotted on but you could use blue tack or anything you have that, at home that allows them to move but keeps the end in place. So, if you're using a pin, make sure you get a grown up to watch you because these are very sharp. All you're going to do is make a hole in the middle, use a pen first and stab it through. And there you go. A simple five minute clock five minutes because it only takes five minutes to make okay so my clock says 12 o'clock what do I need to do to my clock to make it say four o'clock have a think If you said to move the hour hand to the four and for the minute hand to be on 12, then you're right. Well done. Okay, remember that clocks only move this way. Clockwise. They can't go backwards like this. Only this way. So... You could either make a cardboard one, do one on the floor, make it pretty, make it different colours, make it a rainbow clock, 
but you need your numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You need two hands, one longer for the minute hand, one shorter for the hour hand. And you need something just to hold them in place. Once you've got this, you could have a practice all day at doing different times, some o'clock ones and some half past ones. And then come back tomorrow for your time quiz. Hope you have fun making this. Bye.